Republican voters, I want you to know something. This video, albeit not very uh, edited, has some key important things that I need to emphasize. One of them is this whole notion that Democrats are supporting Nikki Haley. Frankly, this is an utter stupid argument. I'm going to tell you why here shortly. But let's first go to uh, Nikki Haley's website. That way we can all understand some pro some problems that we need to uh, uh, address. One of them being that Nikki Haley actually served under Trump. So it takes a lot for somebody who served under that former president who is currently running to actively run against them. There is a real valid concern there. And here is a clue to one of my big concerns. It's not just his behavior about like the January 6th. That's one thing. But now he's getting people mixed up that to an average person should not be easy to mistake. Like something Nick Haley mentioned, and she didn't go out, out as far as I'm going to do. If you mistake Nikki Haley for Nancy Pelosi, you've either lost your damn mind lost cognitive reasoning and ability, or, as I suspect with Trump, has lost some memory. Nikki Haley was the UN ambassador under Trump. Nancy Pelosi was Speaker of the House for the Democratic Party during Trump's um, time in office. Compl two completely different things. Nikki Haley was appointed by Trump to be an ambassador. So him going out and attacking her, uh, saying that she was not getting the border security done and so forth, and the funds and so forth, Nikki Haley had nothing to do with And for both Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis to attack Nikki Haley on this shows a real lack of character and lack of cognitive ability. The latter part is the key part that I'm concerned about. This decline is on the public stage, and no one seems to want to take note of it. We need to remember uh, Nikki Haley is not some, some person that, can, that backs down. And the reason why we're going through this is because I want to make sure that we don't we don't have a issue.
So here's something that you want to be very careful with. When you get a, um, a, a person that you're trying to say that is, endor uh, is endorsed and supported by Democrats, here's, here's the problem that you're going to have. You have Gary Cohn, a Republican, Ashley Davis, a Republican, and Mary Ann Hansua, right, White House Office Correspondent, a Republican, Mary Kramer, a Republican, Frank Levin, 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 a Republican, Sarah Matthews, a Republican, uh, Harriet Myers, a uh, Republican, Brian T. Moran, a Republican, Jean Phillips, Republican, Jed Gregg, U.S. Senator and go Governor of uh, New Hampshire, all the way from the 90s to the 2000s. John E. Sununu, Senator and Representative. Rob Portman, Senator. OMB, all the way out to 2007. So there. And then you have uh, Phil Scott, Governor of Vermont. Chris Sununu, Governor of New Hampshire. Larry Hogan, uh, Governor of Maryland. Asa Hutchinson, former Governor of Arkansas, still. Bruce, uh, Bruce Runner. Uh, John H. Sununu. Uh, DeAndre Henderson, Governor of Utah, uh, Lieutenant Governor of Utah, U.S. Representatives. Um, Ralph Norman, Gresham Barrett, Charles Bass, <coughs> Rob Bishop, Chuck Douglas, Gary Franks, Will Hurd, Paul Ryan, Scott Hilton, the mayor of Charleston, uh, William S. Cogswell, party officials, Bill Benny, Benny Kenton De, uh, Dawson, Jennifer Nasser, David Oman, Mary Popma, Don Roberts, Amy Tarkinen, Diane Tabilius, Joseph Hell. Then we get the televangelist John Hagee, the supporter of uh, Nikki Haley, but then we have uh, Judge Judy Judith Shina, um, the New Hampshire Union Lander, the Post and Courier, Americans for Prosperity, which is traditionally Republican, is all supporting her.
So if we go by the logic that Democrats are supporting Nikki Haley, that is a bold-faced lie. And anyone who tells you otherwise is a liar too.